Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Choosing the perfect location for your medical practice is key to setting up your business for success. But the location you choose should never be determined by geography alone. You should also consider the following questions when determining location options for your new practice. 1. What type of practice are you opening? Whether private or group-based, the type of practice you're opening has a lot to do with the type of location you should choose. For instance, a building whose businesses pump loud music all day may not be a good place to open a chiropractic, acupuncture, or psychiatry practice. 2. What are your personal preferences? Consider your personal working style and preferences when looking at location options. Do you want to be surrounded by other businesses and complementary medical practices, or would you prefer a quiet space away from the chatter and foot traffic of others? Be sure to take your working style and personality into account when determining an office location. 3. Where do your ideal customers live? Take your target market into account when determining location options. Look for locations that are not only convenient to the patients you'd like to attract, but that offer a go-to medical destination for underserved communities. By considering the type of practice you're opening, personal location preferences, and the needs of your future patients, you are sure to choose the perfect location for your new medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Forget about experience, credentialing, marketing, and finding the perfect community of patients. The success of your new medical practice is all about location, location, location. When choosing a potential location to open your practice, measure its promise against Sherlock Doc's handy locationometer. Does the cost of renting or purchasing the property fall within your budget? Remember that the last thing you need when starting a new business is to worry about paying the rent. If you found a location that's within your price range, give yourself 5 points. What's the cost of business insurance on the location? Will the addition of property and business taxes blow your budget to smithereens? Add taxes and insurance to your rent and mortgage. If you still come out on top, add 5 points to your score on the locationometer. Consider noise from neighbors, traffic, construction, and other nearby annoyances. Will any of the sounds inside or outside the location bother potential clients? If not, give yourself another 5 points. If the office is located in a neighborhood that is easily accessible by your ideal patients, give yourself 5 points. If your ideal clients live in the neighborhood itself, give yourself an additional 10 points. If most of your patients must drive to reach your office, is there ample parking available? Consider cost and convenience when evaluating parking options. If parking is a breeze at this location, give yourself 5 points. Does the location fit the feeling of your business's brand? You might want lots of sunny natural light and modern architecture, or a cozy private haven that makes patients feel safe. If the location has the vibe you're looking for, give yourself 5 points. Add up your score to see if this location is the perfect fit for your new practice. If you score 25 to 35 points, go ahead and sign on the dotted line because you found your dream space. If you scored 15 to 24 points, keep this location in your back pocket as you continue to search for other options. If you scored 14 points or less, forget this location and keep looking for the perfect home for your future medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. A medical commercial building offers medical professionals the opportunity to lease or buy office space that is customized to suit the specific needs of their practice. Some medical commercial buildings are dedicated medical centers where all or most of the on-site offices are medical in nature. If you're a chiropractor, for instance, you might purchase office space in a commercial building that is also home to a dentist's office and a family practitioner. In some cases, medical commercial buildings rent or sell office space to other retailers as well. 
This can mean your practice is located within a commercial building that is also home to restaurants, shops, salons, and other non-medical outlets. Obtaining office space in a dedicated medical commercial building may reduce associated building costs. Commercial leasers understand that medical practices have a variety of special needs including room for expansion, flexible lease terms, exclusivity clauses, ADA compliance, hazmat considerations, and flexible hours of operation. If you're interested in setting up your practice in a medical commercial building, make sure to investigate the other practices that may be located in the same building so as to avoid unnecessary competition. It's also crucial to ensure that the physical facilities are optimal for your particular type of medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. A commercial condo allows medical professionals to buy a fixed amount of office space in an industrial or sometimes residential condominium building. Commercial condos offer the benefits of ownership for smaller practices that aren't yet ready to obtain an entire commercial building or to rent larger office space. While the commercial condo owner is somewhat limited in terms of expansion, he or she has a certain amount of freedom to refurbish and redesign the condo as they see fit. Commercial condos are generally more affordable than commercial buildings while still offering the benefits of building ownership, including appreciation of the property over time, certain tax deductions only available to commercial condo owners, and the opportunity to secure nearly 100% financing for the purchase of the property. Commercial condos aren't right for everyone. Be sure to consult your financial advisor to find out if owning a commercial condo is the wisest business move for your growing medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. You're ready to buy office space for your new medical practice. Congratulations! Purchasing space for your medical practice is one of the biggest business decisions you'll be faced with, so it's important to choose a space that's right for you. Most medical professionals who wish to own their own office space opt for either a commercial building or a commercial condo, but which type of space will be perfect for your practice? A commercial building offers the opportunity for expansion and renovations as your business grows. You can buy space that's already equipped for use as a medical practice and compliant with your state's requirements for operating a medical practice. However, a commercial building space may be too large and too expensive for a small practice just starting out, and you may have to compete with other physicians if there isn't an exclusivity clause in your purchase agreement. A commercial condo is another good option for practices that want the benefits of ownership without the higher price tag. Buying a commercial condo is generally cheaper than leasing, offers many tax benefits, and will help you accurately predict your operational costs in both the short and long term. But condos are limited in terms of the ability to expand and renovate. If your practice grows quickly, you won't have the freedom to make physical renovations beyond the space you already own since you're likely to have neighbors surrounding you on all sides. Whether you choose to purchase a commercial building or a commercial condo, owning your office space has many benefits. In most cases, such a purchase will be a sound financial move for your medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. If you choose to rent office space for your medical practice, the terms of your rental agreement will be outlined in a commercial lease. Much like a residential lease, a commercial lease is an agreement between a tenant and a landlord. The main difference is that with a commercial lease, you have permission to conduct business on the premises. However, there are three more important differences to keep in mind. Number one, unlike residential leases there are no deposit caps on commercial leases and few provisions to protect a tenant's privacy this could result in hefty fees to rent office space and little to no protection against nosy landlords 
Number two, the terms of commercial leases are typically much longer than residential leases, sometimes stretching up to 15 years. And number three, there is much more room for customization with this type of lease, allowing you to negotiate terms to your liking. When signing a commercial lease, make sure that the amount of rent falls within your budget and that the length of the lease allows room for growth in your business. Since you may not be able to tell if a space will work for you until you're actually seeing patients there, it's smarter to choose a short-term lease with the option to renew. Finally, be sure to think first and foremost about the long-term needs of your growing practice when considering the terms of a commercial lease. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. When leasing an office space for your medical practice, it's important to know who to talk to, what questions to ask, and how to make sure your requirements are accurately represented on your commercial office lease. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to make leasing an office space the easiest part of opening your medical practice. The average realtor simply won't do. Be sure to hire a broker with medical leasing experience because they'll understand the unique real estate requirements of opening and operating a medical practice. Look for a space convenient to your patients. The fanciest office in the world won't matter much if it's in an inconvenient location. Make sure the building can accommodate after-hours scheduling or other special scheduling needs of your practice. Not all buildings are equipped for 24-hour access, for example, so be sure to lease office space that can accommodate your practice's schedule. Make sure the building is ADA compliant. This is especially important when treating patients with disabilities. Ensure that the office space is wheelchair accessible and has an elevator to all upper levels. Find out if the building's owner is also a physician, or if the building is owned by a hospital. If it is, you'll be held accountable to anti-kickback laws and must familiarize yourself with a specific set of policies. Make sure you're leasing an office space that isn't in close proximity to a competing medical practice. It's also a good idea to include an exclusivity clause in your commercial lease so the landlord cannot rent to a competing practice during the duration of your tenancy. Take your time and do your research when choosing an office space to lease. Prioritize items into wants and needs and decide beforehand which are negotiable and which are not. Don't be afraid to hold out for the office space that is right for you. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. When negotiating the terms of a commercial lease for your medical practice, you have a lot of power. Unlike residential leases, the terms of a commercial lease are not set in stone and can be tailored to meet the individual needs of each lessee. Here's what to look for and what to expect from an ideal commercial lease contract. First, look for a short one to two year lease term with the option to renew. You don't want to be locked into a long-term lease if the space isn't right, but you also want the option to stay if the space turns out to be perfect. Second, make sure there are no hidden maintenance or utility fees. A good commercial lease should clearly state any extra costs you'll be responsible for. It's also a good idea to ask to see extraneous costs and charges that have been incurred by past tenants. Look for any hidden repair fees that have been buried into the terms of your commercial lease. While landlords typically take care of residential repairs, that's not always the case with commercial landlords. Make sure you understand what you're responsible for. Finally, a good commercial lease should include clear language and fair terms when it comes to defaulting on your lease. If you are unable to make rent payments, the lease should clearly state what will happen and how much time you'll have to catch up on those payments. Read your lease carefully and hire a commercial real estate attorney to help you understand any confusing points as well as fight for provisions that may be missing. Remember that when entering into a commercial lease agreement, you as a tenant have much more negotiating power than you would with a residential lease. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Popular wisdom would have you believe it's better to own than rent. 
But does that rule apply when deciding whether to lease or buy your medical office space? The pros and cons of leasing versus buying are similar for medical entrepreneurs as they are for the general population with a few important distinctions. Just like with residential leasing, leasing your office space offers more flexibility and a lower upfront investment than buying. But buying office space may provide more significant benefits down the road. Buying allows you to control rising costs and more accurately predict your monthly operations expenditures, complete expansion and construction projects as your practice grows, establish your practice in a location where no rental properties are available, and take advantage of certain tax breaks and write-offs not available when renting property. But buying is not automatically better than leasing. While net income generated from real estate is not subject to certain taxes, it's also no longer possible to hide taxable income under the umbrella of a real estate purchase. Consult an experienced CPA before deciding if leasing or buying is right for your practice and remember that there is no one-size-fits-all solution to finding the perfect property for your growing practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Buying a commercial building for your medical practice is a big undertaking. After all, as a medical professional, chances are you're not a commercial real estate expert. That's why it's important to follow a strategic four-step process once you decide you're ready to purchase a commercial building. Step 1. Assemble an expert team. Making a large purchase like a commercial building requires the assistance of an expert team. Be sure to involve a lawyer, commercial broker, accountant, and mortgage broker when preparing to buy medical office space. Step 2. Find the perfect property. When searching for the ideal commercial space, be sure to consider location, zoning allowances, building code limitations, building condition, accessibility, parking, and expansion opportunities. Step 3. Evaluate the property. Never sign on the dotted line without having an appraiser or analyst evaluate the property for things like potential hazards, electrical issues, and possible liabilities. Step 4. Secure financing. When you're ready to buy, decide how much cash you're willing to put down and how much of a loan you'll need to obtain. Having good credit and an already established practice will help you secure optimal loan terms. Work with your lawyer and accountant to make sure the financial terms of your loan and purchase contract are to your advantage. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Are you ready to purchase a commercial condo for your medical practice but don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest? You're in luck! For new and growing medical practices, there are a variety of commercial loans available to help you get your practice up and running or to help a growing practice thrive in a brand new space. The three most popular types of commercial loans for medical practices include SBA 504 loans, SBA 7A loans, and loans from private lenders. SBA 504 loans help medical professionals purchase condos by facilitating partnerships with private lenders. With this type of loan, you'll put down 10% of the purchase cost of your condo, a private lender will provide 50%, and the SBA will cover 40%. With a 7A SBA loan, the Small Business Administration issues two separate loans for you, the lender. These two loans have different terms and may have different interest rates, but together add up to 90% of the cost of purchasing your condo. Just like with the 504 loan, you're responsible for a 10% down payment. Private lenders also have options for financing your condo purchase with a commercial loan. Where SBA loans have fixed loan terms and rates, a private lender may be able to offer more flexible payment terms and variable interest rates. Additionally, private lenders may finance your loan as an investment where the SBA will usually only lend to owner-occupied practices. Remember, every medical practice is different and only you can decide which type of commercial loan is right for you.
Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Are you ready to purchase a commercial condo for your medical practice? A commercial condo offers a variety of benefits for medical entrepreneurs in private practice or partnerships. Unlike other types of real estate where up to 35% of the property cost must be put down in cash, medical professionals can purchase a commercial condo with a down payment of just 10%. Thanks to a program available through the U.S. Small Business Administration, it's possible to secure up to 90% of the cost of the condo through low interest financing. This is a great option for those just starting their business. Whereas banks often want to see proof of a profitable business that's already up and running, many SBA loans are targeted toward those just getting started. It's important to have good credit, a healthy down payment, and the ability to commit to staying in the space for three to five years. Since the size of commercial condos can be somewhat limited, it's best to make a purchase during a time where you don't anticipate the kind of growth that would require a larger space in the very near future. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. If you're ready to purchase a commercial building for your medical practice, you have a variety of options for financing the purchase. Doctors and other medical professionals are able to obtain some of the best commercial loan rates in the industry because banks are eager to earn your business. But it's important to choose a commercial loan that's right for your practice. Long-term debt is best and will provide you with the lowest interest rates over the life of your loan. While it may be tempting to use a line of credit to purchase your medical building, a long-term installment loan is almost always a better option. There are three main types of commercial loans you can obtain to purchase your medical practice. You can participate in the 7A loan program through the SBA which offers 100% financing for the purchase of an existing building or the construction of a new building. You can secure non-SBA medical practice financing through a private lender with rates as low as 3% interest for a 10-year term, or you can refinance an existing medical practice on a 15-year fixed rate. Be sure to work with a banker you trust, shop around for the best rates on private loans, and always read the fine print. Make sure you understand the terms of a joint loan if partnering with others in your practice, as well as what happens to the loan if you decide to leave the practice. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the doctorsbusinessnetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.